Here's our tell the tape brought to you by Long John Silvers. Amanda Leibrock is 35 years of age, three years a senior of Martini Androva. You can see she's also much taller at six foot even. Both women weighed in at the featherweight limit. Reach advantage unsurprisingly on arms and legs, favoring the much taller Leibrock. We sent it back inside the smart cage with Justin Roberts. This next bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the PFL Women's Featherweight Division. Standing in the blue corner at six feet tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds with a record of six wins and four losses. Fighting out of Hayward, California, touch him up, Ember Libra. And her opponent, standing in the red corner at five feet, eight inches tall, Weighing in at 145 and one half pounds with a record of six wins and three losses. Fighting out of Prague, Czech Republic, she is a 2022 PFL Women's Lightweight Semi-Finalist, Martina Indruva. Your referee, Jason Herzog. Great to see Jason Herzog inside the smart cage. He put with our referee cam. Martini and Drova in the purple. Amanda Leibrock in the gray. First round, fight, you ready? Fight, you ready? Fight! Let's go, let's You heard Mar Martini and Drova talking to Megan Anderson, said she thinks Librock's going to try and take her down. Librock, though, does have four knockouts to her credit. Librock also has that Muay Thai background. So Drova's going to have to get in the pocket and hurt her to make her want to go out of this striking realm, in my opinion. I think this is going to be a stand-up fight. And Drova starts off the contact. Ooh, nice check hook on the retreat from Martini and Drova. Nice job catching the foot and following with that right hand by Yandrova as well. Yeah, nice footwork there by Yandrova. She's looking on point so far. Yandrova lost to Kayla Harrison in the semifinals in London last year. She was very upset about that loss. Talked to her a little bit at the after fight party about that. So she was going to make some adjustments and come back stronger. And I think this is a better weight class for her as well, Randy. Absolutely. Yandrova is another one of those that said 145 is way better than me. I yeah. feel like it was giving up too much size at 155. And now here she is against a six-footer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, Jake Paul will join the show later, 10 Eastern on ESPN2, part of our main card. Yandrova from Prague, one of the prettiest cities on the planet. In yeah. my opinion. Absolutely beautiful. I'd like to see Librock throw a little bit more kick, especially that teep or front kick down the middle to establish that length advantage. Yeah, keep her out there at kicking range. Yeah. I'm distracted by the flex from both Randy Ooh. and Kenny that they've traveled to Prague, Czech Republic. <laughs> we get it, guys. <laughs> We've seen some things, Sean. Librock, despite the length, having a hard time finding targets. Martini and Drova good with the defense so far. Two minutes gone in this first round. Three points for a victory, three bonus points if either of these women can earn a finish here in round number one. That would put either of them at the top of the feather. Oh, oh boy! Amanda Leibrock lands the head kick! And that'll do it! Wow! Oh, wow! Leibrock with a knockout in her PFL debut! We're back at the Theater at Virgin Hotel. This one just went final. Amber Leibrock with an impressive performance. And we'll make it official with Justin Roberts inside the smart cage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes 19 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner by knockout, earning six points in the PFL Women's Featherweight Division, Amber Libra. All right, here with the winner in our Celsius post-fight interview, Amber Librock. Unbelievable finish with the head kick. Now, it looked like early maybe you were having a hard time gauging the distance, feeling it out. When did you dial in the head kick? 
First of all, I just want to say my name is Amber Librock. I'm from Hayward, California. I represent the Bay Area, and I'm here to stay. So if you don't know me, get to know me and remember the name. Um, I'm, I'm, I respect everybody that steps in this cage with me and their art, and I know that she is a dangerous person on her feet. She is a multi-world kickboxing Muay Thai champion, so I think it did kind of take me a minute to just find it, but when it's there, it's there, and I found it. You found it. Let's take another look at it. Walk me through exactly what you're thinking and feeling as this lands. Well, I knew her hands were kind of low, and you know, the way we teach our kicks is like, it all looks the same. You don't know if it's a teep, you don't know if it's knee, you don't know if it's low, you don't know if it's coming high. And bam, baby, it came high, it came right over it. Uh, she hit hard, so if my hands weren't there, my feet are. Beauty, beautiful. And that's all to my coaches, Coach Kirian over at CSA. Thank you so much. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Coach Mao at CSA. My coaches, Adam, best friend, Jesse. Everyone over at the Scrap Pack. Gilbert Melendez, thank you for this beautiful camp. I love you all. Couldn't do it without you. Amber Librock currently top of the women's featherweight standings with six points.